Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I did a video just a few minutes ago, but you know, I decided I'm not going to post that one. It was kind of, it was good, but not good enough for me. If, if I don't like it, then it's really not good enough. Because um, sometimes I put things out there and I think, ah, oh, Jim says it's okay, maybe it is okay. But this one I didn't feel like it was. What I was talking about, and I want to talk about that in this one too, but I'm going to change it up a little bit, is I want to talk about keto, just a little bit about keto. And I want to link a channel that um, talked about it, and it was the Green Dream Projects. Jim had talked about how he was um, doing the ketogenic way of eating because he has extremely high blood pressure and he's trying to see if he can regulate it. Well, I want to talk about my gym because I know my gym better. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, um, do. I do know you. Yes. Um, he also had high blood pressure and it was he was on medicine for a couple of years and um, in 2017, April 17, 2017, I was um, watching videos as we were traveling back from from um, Indiana. We visit our son at Easter time and we were traveling back. And I had been watching a lot of videos on the way down and on the way back is when I ran across the ketogenic way of eating and it was Casey Durango's videos that I ran into. Prior to that I'd been watch watching Chef AJ which was not ketogenic way of eating. She was eating a lot of carbs. She would talk about how um, you could eat tons of sweet potatoes, but you could never overeat on them. Well, I could overeat on sweet potatoes because I like sweet potatoes. And I could overeat a lot of, it was a lot of vegetables is what she was eating. And she tried to say that you couldn't overdo on vegetables. Well, I think I could. It depends if you like vegetables. And then when I found Casey's, I thought, wow, this is, sounds more to what we should be doing. So I, at that moment, I said to Jim, I think we're going to be doing the ketogenic way of eating. And we started. And our first, and so when we started, we had, hadn't, had we had breakfast that morning? I don't think so. Oh, no, so. we hadn't had breakfast that morning. And so we were actually doing a fast all the way home and it's a 10 hour drive. So we had gone all night and we were going just, well, we went six hours, I think, to, to the hotel. And then we may have had our first meal. And then the next day we did the same thing. We didn't have, an, we had maybe Maybe we had breakfast. Did we have breakfast? No. Just some coffee. Just some coffee. And then and then we traveled on to home and it was we ate probably we started out pretty much with one meal a day. Wow, we did really good compared to some, I guess. Um but that's how we started and then we just continued it. And we've been doing it since two thousand and seventeen. We're heading more towards carnivore now, where um, we're eating way less vegetables and we're going more meat, where our meals are, like tonight we had chicken, but I had made um, chicken in the crock pot with bouillon, and then I had to add some Himalayan salt on in my dish, and I always put, I put um, Romano grated trees on top and it was really tasty. It's a really, it was, it was like a soup. The only, when I would have soup like this before, I always had pasta with it. And so that's the thing that I kind of miss. I kind of miss my pasta because everything I cooked before going on the ketogenic way of eating had macaroni with it of some sort. And that was how I liked to eat and that's what I used to cook. Now I have to learn how to cook meats. And so that's what we're doing. But um, the one that I want to watch, want you to watch, I would like you to watch if you'd watch. It, maybe it would be a good idea to watch it. Only just for, for information's sake. 
to watch Jim's video. I will link the link there for you. And um, I think that's probably all that I have to say, I guess. Did I, I don't even know what I talked about. This is pretty sad. Um, about family, health. family health is what I talked about in the other one. I, yeah. Trying to think what I talked about. Now, in Jim's family, he has to watch his um, sugar because he's got, his family was diabetic. And they also had heart troubles. My family, my father was had um, eye drops for glaucoma. And that was it. And then I said that. Um, in the other one, I said kind of like my family just has glaucoma and, and maybe we're a little crazy. And at the time, it hit me funny, but it's not hitting me funny because I said, whoops. Because once you say it, it's like you, lo you lose the spontaneity. Yeah, well, the, the um, shock of it saying it, I guess. It was kind of like a shock. Like, I said that? Yes, you did say that. Um, so look at your family history see what they have and try to do your research and see what you can do to avoid having the same ailments that your families have or your family members have had. And um, maybe that's all I wanted to say, I guess. I'm done, I'm, I'm done. This one's just as bad as the first one, but we'll probably keep this one. So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. You have a great night and I'll see you then, bye-bye. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Now another Jim, <laughs> my Jim, he raised his hand. Yep, he's present and, and, and it's him. Okay, when Jim went to the doctor, this was a couple years ago, he went to the doctor and he had high blood pressure and they had put him on medicine. He was also pre-diabetic and um, so he, he and I went on the ketogenic way of eating and he was actually able to get off of his blood pressure medicine and he is no longer pre-diabetic. Now, it's removed right off my charts. Pardon me? It's removed right off my charts. Yeah, they took it off of his charts. It's like it didn't even exist anymore. So it's gone. Get a thought that needs to, it's like, it's like when you're typing, here I go again into something else. <laughs> It's like when you're typing and you feel like, oops, I've got to back up, erase that, and insert this word. Well, that's how my brain is. It's like I'm going along and all of a sudden, whoops, I think we better insert something. You put that little TP thing where you insert, like when the teachers used to correct your paper. Oh, there's another. When the teachers used to correct your paper, they used to do it in red ink, and they used to put a little um, TP-like thing, and they'd insert where you should have inserted something. And that's what my brain does. It, it likes to back up a little bit. It feels like, well, maybe I need to elaborate a little more on that, that I didn't quite elaborate enough on it. Health, Health problem problems. or whatever, I don't know what to say. It's, it's I'm losing it, I'm losing it. There goes the, the, the mental thing. <laughs> oh gosh. So anyways, my family has Glaucoma and mental difficulties, apparently, or, or just um, not mental. I'm crazy, just crazy. Um, <laughs> and my husband's is heart and diabetic. And so, and you could have, um, this is it. I guess we're done. If you just check out Jim's video, he did a great job on it. And this one's all over the place. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Every time I stop my hands, oh, well, goodbye. <laughs>